right, welcome back to the Man Cave. I am Black Iris. Good to see all of you. Got a little video for you guys today. Before that, I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in, hitting that like button, subscribing, telling your friends. And no matter what platform you're on watching me, I appreciate you. All right, let's let's uh, let's stop talking about all that other crap. Let's start talking about Terrell Owens and his preferences, which can never be a preference because you're a man in 2023, and it's just mean and wrong for saying anything negative about anyone else even though it's not negative they just don't like you talking negative about them anyway let's get started with the first video and then we're going to look at the other videos complaining my experiences with black women growing up wasn't so good when i started dating white girls my first experience with white girls was when i went to college i tried to date some black girls when i was in college they did not like me i was skinny i right. was strong right i was i was teased from high school even college I got teased for being dark skinned. Damn, so they, tease, was, they tease you, cuz? Yeah, so there was a lot of self, a lot of self esteem issues. Right, right, right. No, I'm, I'm being, I'm being yeah. dead honest. So when I and for a lot of people that don't know, being dark skinned, especially in the late '80s and '90s, wasn't necessarily the most attractive thing, and that's for men and women. And there was a lot of self hate that was going on in the. I think the 70s is when light skin wasn't appreciated and somewhere in the 80s to 90s light skin became the icon of what black is which is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life but you know being a dark skin person was found to be less attractive so I can understand where he's coming from where they would look at you a certain way and then call you say that you were not attractive and that can take a toll on, on on a man. It really can. Men and women. But because it's a man's show, mostly men. It, when I got my opportunity, when my, my first experience with a white girl, I was like, okay, it wasn't bad. But that wasn't, I just gr- totally gravitated to, to white girls after that. Right. That wasn't the situation. So, again, my experiences with black women growing up wasn't so good. So, But that still didn't deter me from still dating or pursuing right. black girls. So my thing now is <clears throat> because I know there's a stigma, uh, the, the stereotypical of, of athletes, you know, to, to to go off and make money, this and that, and and date uh, the opposite color, mm-hmm. the opposite race. But for me now, where I am, it's not even about it's not even about about color. It's not even about race. Mm-hmm. For me, it's about somebody that I have some chemistry with, mm-hmm. good energy, and a, and I get a good vibe with. That's that's where I am. Like I said, we all want somebody that's attractive. Right. You know right. what I mean? Aesthetics is going to play a big part in it. Don't, anybody that says, oh, well, I don't care what a person looks like, that's a lie. That's a lie. We all want somebody that we can roll over and wake up to that, you know what I mean, that looks pleasing to the eye. Everybody's experiences have been different. For me, when I grew when I grew up, I tried. I was in my, my high school was pretty much. It's 50, I don't know what percentage black, white, but I lived in a black neighborhood. So at the end of the day, I attempted to date black girls. When I was younger, I wasn't as handsome as I am now. I didn't oh. have this beautiful smile as I had as, yeah. I, have now, as I have now. Yeah, I'm puberty. Right. I was, a late, I was a late bloomer. Yeah. And when I bloomed, boy, did I bloom. So then we have a clear understanding if anyone can tell me where it was that he says something disrespectful please please let us know in the comments section he's talking about what he experienced he's talking about what he went through and why he went the direction he did not once did he say anything negative about black women not once did he glorify white women he's just saying They didn't want me, so I went to where I was appreciated. So, I just have this this feeling like somebody, this guy, this person that I know is really adamant about this, who's going to have a problem with preferences? I think you know who that person is. So, you're telling me that you're suffering from post-traumatic rejection disorder. That's what you're telling me. Terrell Owens, you suffer from post-traumatic 
rejection disorder. That's what you're telling me. That's what you're telling me. So since the black girls didn't like you in elementary school, you bunny hopping with white women in your 40s. First of all, do you really have to use the term bunny hopping? Number two, white. So is that what happens if a white guy were to date a black woman and just date multiple? Is he is he I'm trying to figure out a nice word to say? J- Jigga boo hopping. God, I hope this doesn't get me blocked on TikTok. Um, yeah. Is, so if, would that be OK to say or would you get really mad because someone said that? It's always it's he you know the thing is it's always the same people to have the same problems but when it's in reverse they got nothing to say magic they're gone since black girls didn't like you in high school you bunny hopping with white girls in your 50s because black women rejected you in college you're now bunny hopping with white women in your 30s 40s and 50s so yeah so if if, if a group of people don't like you why would i spend all my life around them if i if a bunch of people threatened me why would i stay around a bunch of people who threatened me if a certain group of women don't like me why would i keep pursuing the same group of women that don't like me that makes absolutely no sense but i'm pretty sure in his mind and many other people with low self-esteem they probably all think the same thing it makes perfect sense that's an excuse. Black men, that's an excuse. Stop using black women as an excuse for your bunny hopping. Why not? When it's the other way around, you don't seem to have a problem. You seem to be totally 100% okay with it when it's the other way around. But the moment it's this way, now all of a sudden you're talking about 500 lashes and all this other nonsense and this all isms. And you know the thing is? You want to stand up for black rights? That's cool. I respect that part. But when it comes to these things, unless you 50-50 both ways, shut up. Stop getting it. Like, it's the most disturbing thing when men grow or just all into another man's business. What is that? Why can't men just leave other men alone? I think it's suspect that you're so concerned what a man does with his sex life, love life. That's just weird. It's so weird. It's like when you go to a job and you're trying to talk to some chick and every guy's trying to C block you just trying to get, you know, because they don't want you having it. What is that? And don't tell me that doesn't exist. When guys are jealous, they will do everything to sabotage you. It's just so weird to me. Just move to the next one. So here we are again. Terrell Owens claims that he gravitates towards dating white women because black women teased him for being dark skinned hold on there's more Owen shared that he was pushed (laughs) notice the word pushed into the arms of white women by black women who rejected him because of his looks my first experience with black women growing up wasn't good when I started dating white girls my first experience was When I was in college, I tried to date some black girls. When I was in college, they did not like me. I was skinny. I was scrawny, he said. First thing. Yes. That's what he probably did say. Well, I'm sure you're going to find a problem. Go ahead. Tell me. Things first. Be in a relationship with any consenting adult that you would like to be in a relationship with. Love who you would like to love. But stop blaming any group of women or men for your decision to love who you would like to love well let's start off with this what concern is it to you what he does with his life it's not like he's insulting any of these women and don't do that whole 50 50 because when it comes to women doing it none of you say anything he didn't say anything horrible. I have seen videos of women who said some of the most atrocious things. And none of you people ever show up to call them out. That's what I'm telling you. They give you a safe space to jump on the bandwagon. But they also do this so that you can get in the platform to get more viewers. Because all you got to do is just say what the dummies on the other side like to hear. And you can get people to support you. Yeah, because I'm calling cap on this anyway. I don't. Re- First of all, you're way too old to say cap. 
anyone is describing this. Okay. Call you quitting football when Jerry Jones cut you from the Cowboys team at dinner. Did you quit football when reports like this were made about you disgracing yourself and the Bengals as a football player? Oh, maybe you quit when they characterized you as the Eagles' biggest mistake. What the hell does this have to do with his... Pro you see what I'm talking about? None of this is relevant. And you go to the comments section, mm-hmm, girl, that's what I'm talking about. Did he quit that? No, because you know why he didn't quit that? Because out of the two things between the football and you women, one of them accumulates money. The other one takes it away. So why would I make a financial... <sighs> I tell you, they give anyone a mic. Did you break up with your financial management team when you lost $2 million in a bingo investment because you didn't realize that the NFL had a prohibition on investing in gambling enterprises by its players? Got off track there. You probably should have quit. You damn right you got off track. What does this have to do with his preferences? You're bringing up stuff that has that is not even relevant to what he said. Like, nothing of this makes any sense. And I'm telling you, go to the comment section of, the, of this video. You will see all these idiots agreeing with him. One thing I realized in the last 17 years is that the, the amount of ignorant people has increased with, when, while technology has gotten better and better. You'll see it because everyone's just really stupid. And I mean dumb investing then instead of going on to lose 80 million dollars but i digress but did you quit football when stories like this came out from sports journalists talking about you made the teams you played on worse or maybe you quit playing after this espn article was it black women's fault when you were on dr phil and your baby mamas were accusing you of being delinquent in your child support and having little to no relationship with fathering your children, children that you have to pay $44,600 in child support a month for. Were black women responsible for that all? Did he mention any of these things? Did he mention any of these things? This is what's wrong with this community. Y'all so uptight. Y'all say anything you want. You want to come out here and talk about this and that and isms and all that other crap, but the moment something, the moment that a man has a preference, everyone comes out of there, oh, you're hurting my feelings. I'm going to bring up stuff that has nothing to do about what you said. Y'all will dish out so much, but y'all can't take it. And this isn't me trying to appease other groups of people. I'm calling you out, just like I call anybody out. This is that stupid nonsense. You got a whole bunch of women that have babies out of wedlock. You got them breeding a whole bunch of gangbangers. You got them doing some of the most dumbest things on the planet, but y'all will never call it out. But a man having his preferences, oh, that's a problem. Because that's not a preference. That's just you uh, not choosing one of us. Maybe y'all should start asking why sports players end up choosing other race of women as their women when they get big. It ain't just because, oh, woe is me, and, oh, I'm feel you know, because of this and that, or, you know, I was there, I was the ride or die. No, maybe just maybe because y'all a bunch of morons and say stupid stuff that pisses people off. Y'all pretend like you don't, but you know it is, just like this idiot here. What is he talking about? He's bringing up stuff that has nothing to do with the topic. Stay on topic, man. I know you old, but stay on topic. Also, all right, as I said, I call cap on this whole story. Stop saying because that. Because this is 2023. We have access to the World Wide Web, and I would like for the black women that rejected Terrell Owens in college because he was 6'3", 204 pounds, and too scrawny or too skinny or as he said too black to chime in because i know four white women that will say that he most likely did you all a favor yeah where y'all at let's get it and this is why y'all at least married and then you got these fools out here who gonna who make money or at least pander to get views on their channels while you are sinking in your seat all alone with cats, 
fighting each other for your own entertainment. This hatred that you have for men is is crazy. It is insane. It's like men just can't have a, their own preference to something. There's got to be, well, I like these type of women. I wouldn't, I mean, they're, they're always giving me my first choice. You shouldn't have to say that. You date who you want it. If it's real, you shouldn't have to say it. People who say, well, you know, I got, I want to, I want to, I mean, it sounds like this. Uh, I just want to start off. You know, I don't have a problem with, the, you know, with black women. I, I like black women. They're, they're always going to be my queens. Anybody that starts like this, they know that what they're about to say is going to hurt their feelings. That's why I don't say it. I shouldn't have to tell you that I like these women. You should already know. And if you don't know, I'm not going to sit here and explain myself. I date whoever the heck I want. That's how you men need to start acting. Anyone tell you how to think or feel, you tell them that you know, that's, I'll do whatever I want until you start paying my bills. Too many of you got, got your foot in your mouth talking about everything that you don't even understand. This is why men don't want to talk. Because every time they talk, you got something to say. And all you're doing is showing your insecurities about how upset you are because you weren't chosen. And the ones that are chosen, you call them pick me's. That's that. That's some effinism talk right there. Oh, you like you like these men? You're a pick me. Yeah, because I don't want to die alone. How about this? How about the rest of you leave these men alone? Leave those women alone. Let them have families. Build a legacy. Have a family together while they're building legacy and live happily ever after with, you know, you know, the rough patches cuz that's what marriage is. And then the rest of you can just can just go scissor each other and just go f off. Sound good to me? Sound good to you? 